Dear participants, welcome to the fifth module of the second week. In the previous module, we had seen the significance of facial expressions and how they are being linked with the latest technological developments. Human facial expressions as well as their recognition by computers has become a widely studied topic since the concept of effective computing was first introduced by Picard. Numerous methods and algorithms for automatically recognizing emotions from human faces have been developed and they are still being developed in diversified ways. A particular interesting aspect of the recognition of facial expressions is based on our understanding of what is known as micro expressions. Micro expressions are those facial expressions that come on our face in a very fleeting manner. They last not more than half a second up to four seconds and some researchers say that the duration of micro expressions is even less. For example, some say that it is between half a second to two seconds whereas some critics think that it is even shorter than this. Macro expressions as we have studied in our previous module are what is known as the regular expressions or the normal expressions which come on our face. These expressions match the content of what we are saying and they also match the voice modulations. They can normally be seen and evaluated by people and therefore they form the basis of communication. They can be in general understood by viewers and they also have what is known as a repeatable capability. Micro expression on the other hand display an emotion which is rather concealed or an emotion which the speaker does not want to exhibit openly and therefore they showcase repression or operation of feelings. At the same time we have to understand that it is rather tough for us to conceal the micro expressions. Micro expressions occur normally when there are two conflicting emotions going on in our heart simultaneously. One may be voluntary and the other may be involuntary emotional response. These responses are contradictory. For example, we may feel angry inside but on the face we want to show our pleasure and appreciation. So you would find that one emotion is oppressing the other. These two emotions are contradictory and the conscious or the macro expression would try to imitate the expressions of our appreciation and happiness. On the other hand, the micro expressions very briefly can suggest the truth of our emotional state because they occur in a fleeting fashion and therefore their understanding as well as their concealment by the onlooker as well as by the speaker is rather tough. Even though it is difficult to understand micro expressions as well as to conceal them, we find that if we are able to read them correctly, it becomes a key to understand the interaction in a proper way. We can say that our capability to understand micro expressions helps us to understand the complex emotional world we live in. And here is an interesting discussion of this idea. Want to better understand how people around you feel? Micro expressions are key to understanding the complex emotional world we live in. Recent research shows that emotional intelligence has an impact on how successful people are in their careers. Being able to read emotional signals is one important part of that emotional intelligence. It allows you to better communicate with others, establish meaningful relationships, and build rapport. So what are micro expressions? They are signs of concealed emotions that leak out when people are in high stakes situations but are trying to control their feelings. They typically last less than half a second. Scientists have documented seven universal facial expressions of emotion that are expressed similarly by all people, regardless of race, culture, age, or gender. Research has also shown that people can be trained to identify these expressions relatively The term micro expression as well as the idea behind them was popularized by an American crime drama television series with the title of Light to Me. 
It originally ran on the Fox network in January 2009. In this show, we find that the protagonist, Dr. Cal Lightman, who has been modeled on Paul Ekman, the famous psychologist, and his colleagues in what is known as the Lightman Group, take up assignments from different parties and most of these parties are the local and the federal law enforcement agencies and they assist in investigations and normally they are able to reach at successful conclusions and find out the reasons behind different crimes. Their methodology is to interpret micro expressions through facial action coding system as well as other aspects of body language. Lie to me interestingly had featured a handpicked team of an imaginary fictive character Kel Lightman and in this show we find that this team has perfected the science of solving crime by deciphering micro expressions. Various episodes of this TV show had popularized the idea of micro expressions in the public. A twitch, a blink, a tick. Hence lower lids raised up us. Most people don't even notice them. But the Dr. Cal Lightman, they tell him everything he needs to know. Are you trying to cover up a crime? No. You're lying. He's the world's foremost authority in deception detection. The president specifically asked for you. You do know I can tell when you're lying, don't you? And with his handpicked team of experts, they've perfected the science of solving crimes. You're holding your breath. You're hiding something. Tim Roth. I don't know if you're lying, but why? That's still your secret. Even though the studies of expressions of emotions on human face had been a part of the study programs of various ethologists and behavioral scientists who had taken up the studies of nonverbal aspects of communication, we find that the idea of micro expressions came into existence with the research work of two scholars, E. A. Haggard and K. S. Isaacs, who published a paper in 1966 with the title Micro Momentary Facial Expressions as Indicators of Ego Mechanisms in Psychotherapy. They were looking at the behavior of couples who were undergoing psychological therapy and they were watching different films and they noted that there are certain behaviors which would flash so quickly that it was difficult to grasp them by naked eye. They stumbled upon these aspects of human behavior only when they were watching the films by slowing them down. They noted that certain expressions occur and go even before we become conscious of them and they gave them the name micro-momentary facial expressions. Later on, we find that Paul Ekman in his independent research also came to similar findings and observed similar behaviors. While he was studying deception, he also became conscious of these micro expressions and he coined the term. This term was incorporated in his book, Telling Lies, Clues to Deceit in the Marketplace, Politics and Marriage, which was initially published in 1985, but the revised version came up in 2009. And it was in the 2009 edition that he has incorporated his findings about what he has termed as micro expressions. Paul Ekman's work is a path breaking work and it gives us insights into lying, emotional leakages of our emotions and also to the clues to deceitful behavior. In this book, Ekman has traced the deception strategies of various international public figures, for example, Adolf Hitler and Richard Nixon. And he has also looked at the deceitful behavior of various private individuals, including certain petty criminals as well as adulterers to understand the difference in macro and micro expressions. His study describes how lies vary in form and can differ from other types of misinformation. He has also looked closely as how an individual's body language, voice, facial expressions in particular can give away a lie and people who are sensitive to the micro expressions can understand these lies. However, a person can still escape the detection by professionals. 
A person can escape detection, for example, by police officers, by judges, by various other law enforcement agents and can also escape the mechanical lie detectors. Micro expressions occur in everyone. However, as we have discussed earlier, it is perhaps impossible to conceal them and they occur in an unconscious manner. We cannot prevent them from taking place and learning to detect this leakage is critical to emotional intelligence as well as for understanding deception in the behavior of other people. This list gives us the difference between macro and micro expressions. Macro expressions are what we understand to be obvious or normal facial expressions. In comparison to that, micro expressions are either often misinterpreted or missed altogether. Not everybody can make out the difference between a macro and micro expression and can lose the significance or the meaning of micro expressions. Macro expressions last for certain seconds so that most of us can easily make out the expression on the human face. In comparison to that, micro expressions occur in a fraction of a second and therefore, the detection is difficult. Macro expressions match the content, they express the same idea through our facial expressions which we are trying to express with the help of our words and they also match the tone of the voice. However, micro expressions unconsciously display a concealed emotion. Understanding micro expressions is beneficial in our day to day life if understanding body language helps us to understand the true intent of the other person, micro expressions and their understanding further hones these skills. Micro expressions are like leakages of emotions. They reflect the vacillation of the mind in a person's emotional state and therefore, they offer us a window to the internal emotional turbulence of another person. These leakages may be reflected in one region of the face in a highly subtle manner or in the form of a very quick expression which has been flashed across the whole face. But they increase our emotional awareness and they help us in becoming aware of lies and deceptions as unlike verbal codes, we find that micro expressions have certain universalities. It is interesting to note that Paul Ekman had also started his training programs. He had developed a one hour self instructional program that trains people to observe and understand micro expressions. Whereas it is helpful and beneficial to be able to understand micro expressions, we also have to remember that a single expression on our face, whether it is micro or macro, is like a word in a particular context. A word can have different meanings and in order to place the meaning of a word properly, we also have to understand the context completely. And therefore, we should not overread as far as micro expressions or other macro facial expressions are concerned. Micro expressions are further classified in various ways. Largely, we can say that they exist in three groups, simulated, neutralized and masked expressions. Simulated expressions are most commonly studied forms of micro expressions. It is not accompanied by a genuine emotion, it is like an effect display. It occurs only as a brief flash of an expression and immediately afterwards, the face returns to its normal state. A neutralized expression occurs when a genuine expression is suppressed and the face remains otherwise neutral. This type of micro expression is not easily observable. Some people can miss it altogether. A masked expression is when a genuine expression is completely masked by a falsified expression. Masked expressions are also micro expressions that are intended to be hidden either subconsciously or consciously. Very few people have the capability to successfully comprehend micro expressions on a face. Researchers tell us that only about 3% of the population 
can have this capability. Micro expressions can also be controlled voluntary and involuntary. Facial expressions can also be sometimes controlled. Some people are born with the capability to control their expressions. For example, there are some pathological liars who are able to get away with small lies when they are children and then they develop this skill. Whereas, some other people are trained to control their micro expressions. However, on an average in professions like us, we find that the control of micro expressions is very difficult. Sometimes we find that people can simulate emotion expressions and they may attempt to create the impression that they feel an emotion whereas they are not experiencing it at all. A person may show an expression that looks like fear when in fact they may feel nothing or maybe they feel a different emotion altogether. Another term which Ekman has used is squelched expressions. It means that when expressions are immediately curtailed by instantly changing one's expressions. It is important to note that micro expressions are complete with respect to temporal parameters, but research shows that squelched expressions are not although they last longer. There are different reasons because of which we learn to control our facial expression of emotion. There may be for example, socio-cultural conventions or individual rules running within families or smaller segments of society. Many societies for example, encourage certain behavior in young boys and in young girls. Some societies encourage the idea that young boys or little men as they are called do not cry or look afraid. Similarly, girls are encouraged not to talk loudly or to show aggression. At the same time, there may be other display rules which are considered to be more personal. They may be the product of preferences or even idiosyncrasies of particular individual families or small social gatherings. For example, in a family, a child may be taught never to look angrily at his father or never to show sadness when disappointed. These display rules, whether they are cultural or personal, are usually learnt at a very young age. For example, researchers tell us that gender conditioning is imbibed by a child before he or she has completed three years of age. So, the control of the facial expression, these conventions and family atmospheres dictate is done automatically, is imbibed in a subconscious manner without being aware of them. And therefore, these learnt behaviors allow us to control the expression of our emotions on our face. Here we are displaying a very interesting video from Impact Movie. It is an analysis of micro expressions and body language. It is an inspiring depiction of three people and how they are able to transform themselves and overcome their situations. There are lot of scenes where three clients have to negotiate and sell their products or they try to get an upper hand in a conversation and they are able to do it using their micro expressions and using different strategies of body language. In this particular clip, we find that one of the clients, Megan, has to pitch three investors. What you see here on the investor's face is just the two lips going upward. It's a simple smile and because the two lip corners go upward symmetrically, it means that it's a genuine happiness. If you have a look in slow motion with a close up, this is how it looks. All right, see the two lip corners going upward first slightly and then even more, you know, that's a genuine smile. That was an easy one to warm up, just an expression of happiness. All right, want to see it once more. 
what you can see here happening here that's pressed lips and he's staring at the source of his anger that's why this pressed lips is a meaning of anger and then what happens is shaking his head but that's not the micro expression but there is something more do you see this little twitch on the right side of his face here before he shakes no that's an expression of content superiority he doesn't like what he hears he doesn't like what he sees so here the right solution is a combination of anger and content let's have a look in even slower slow motion from closer this is the pressed lips and the content on the side so this little twitch here this little movement on the right side i'm moving back and forth that's content that's how you can see it can you see it right here at this moment very very tiny and that's how you can see that there is anger and content in his research paul ekman has claimed that micro expressions are perhaps the most promising cues for detecting a lie the particular picture which has been displayed here in which one display of emotion is real whereas in the second picture the same display is of a faked emotion points out the difference between a true expression and the detection of a lie through a micro expression ekman's idea has potential applications in various fields for example they are significant in clinical diagnosis they are also significant for understanding contemporary threats to national security as well as in similar other situation the potential of this research has encouraged people from various fields to enter this area and to study it in diverse fields in this module i have repeatedly referred to the work of paul ekman who is a renowned expert in emotions research and nonverbal communication i conclude this module by displaying this particular snippet in which paul ekman is analyzing an american actor kato kalin's micro expressions and is analyzing how the expressions of disgust and scorn are displayed by this actor this is you're going to see kato kalin this house guest of oj simpson who's being questioned by Margaret Clark the district attorney in an unfriendly fashion at the end of the year of 1993 he was dating Paula Barbieri wasn't he and he's trying very hard to conceal how he's really feeling which is he's very angry and what he shows is a very fast micro expression of disgust anger scorn and he does something like that but he does it much more quickly than I'm doing because it, it's a micro expression Mr. Kalin you got a lot of money for your appearance on current affair didn't you Um yes. What you're seeing is scorn, a combination of anger and disgust, wrinkling of the nose, raising and tightening of the So today we have discussed the difference between micro and macro facial expressions and what exactly is the significance of understanding micro expressions in our interpersonal behavior. In the next module we would look at the expressions of smiles as well as the connotative interpretations of our head nods etc thank you